Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life throughout September 2024. I'm going to pull a few in eight card spread, see who you're possibly dealing with this month with romantic intentions. Whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know and you are currently aware of and you're just looking for some guidance, I will definitely do my best and see who you're connecting to, okay? I'll get their feelings for you, your feelings for them, just to see if you're on the same page. I'll get their intentions with you, their next actions and behavior towards you. And I'll even deep dive into what could be troubling you the most this month, whether it has anything to do with your love life or there's something else bothering you and you're really hoping that your spirit team slips you a little extra guidance your way. Um, I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled and see what type of advice to offer you, okay? Just keep an open mind, Capricorn, that I do get very, very nosy in my readings. I don't hold back messages and I certainly do not sugarcoat. So if you hear a message and it does not resonate with you or it gives you the ick, just let the message go. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you are always in full control of your choices. All right, so with that being said, let's get nosy. All right, Spirit, please tap into the energy of Capricorn today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who is Capricorn connecting to this month and can Capricorn trust this person's intentions with them? Eight card spread for Capricorn, my beautiful sea goat. Two more shuffles, please. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful sea goats. All right, so the person you could be connecting to this month, how do they feel about you? We have the Dev card, Major Arcana for Scorpio. So they definitely feel like something has changed between the two of you. In what way? We will see. Sometimes changes for the better or maybe their emotions have changed for you, but we'll see. Their intentions with you in September? We have the Two of Cups. This is Venus and Cancer energy coming through. Their behavior and actions towards you in September? The Knight of Wands, this is fire energy coming through, Aries, Leo, Sag. So they clearly aren't like exiting the relationship that they have with you based off of their intentions and behavior, but they are acknowledging that something has completely changed in regards to their feelings for you. Like um, how they felt about you maybe a month ago is completely different than how they feel about you in September is what I'm getting off of that. Like whether you guys went from being more friendship, now their feelings have changed to now wanting to nurture something more romantic. Or you guys have let something be dead and buried. You guys squash something between the two of you and let bygones be got bygones. We'll see. Let's take a look at your feelings, Capricorn. How does Capricorn feel? The High Priestess. This is Major Arcana for Pisces. Your challenge this month? The Three of Swords. You're not completely done with something, Capricorn. You're not ready to let bygones be bygones in regards to this person. They want to squash something and move forward with you, and you're over here like, no, we still need to fix something. We still need to resolve something here, something that's preventing us from moving forward. It's kind of what I'm getting off of this. It's like... Um, you feel it in your heart that you and this person must talk about a few things in order for you to let your guard down with this person because right now you feel like you have to protect your heart. You see how your body language in this art depiction shows you like crossed like that? You're, you're covering up your heart chakra. You're like, oh, you're not getting too close. Don't get too close to me. But you're still connected to this, to this person energetically speaking. You guys still have like an energetic tie to each other. This person wants to resolve something and move forward with you, but I feel like you're, you're holding on to something until it gets resolved. Let's take a look at your outcome. The Knight of Swords, this is talking about communication, picking up speed. This is you and this person talking about the, the real important stuff, the stuff that's been weighing on your mind, Capricorn. So you're getting a conversation with this person. Um, you're, you're, you're definitely trying to get your voice heard. You don't wanna be shushed. What's your advice? Justice, major for Libra. If you feel like you have to seek justice from this person or get something like resolved between the two of you, my camera's being a jerk, sorry. It's raining out, so it's affecting the, the light to the camera, to the cards. It's like you want to clear something up with this person before you'll be able to comfortably move forward with this person um, in, a, in a way that's going to benefit the both of you. Or this is flip for the cross watcher. Take it however it resonates. I'm strongly getting a Capricorn that's like, 
I would like to move forward with this person, but only once we talk about something. It's like you really want to get something off of your chest. You feel like someone's dismissing your feelings or um, uh, treating the situation like you can easily sweep something underneath the carpet and that you'll, you'll play nice moving forward, but you're not coming in like that. You're like, no, these are my boundaries. What's the overall energy? The emperor. With the overall energy being the emperor, this is showing me that I have a Capricorn that's really trying to gain control over a situation this month. Really trying to figure out a way to not like get lost in the sauce, not get manipulated, not get gaslit, not get treated in a way that's going to leave you feeling mentally and spiritually exhausted going forward. Influenced by the judgment card. So Capricorn, you're not playing around this month. You've got someone that wants to build a future with you with that two of cups, but you're feeling like there's still some things that need to be taken care of before you'll confidently feel like something is going to benefit you in the long run. You're, you're in this energy of reviewing the relationship carefully and not taking anything lightly this month. Or, or you're dealing with someone that's doing that to you. I know that I see potential here between the two of you, but I'm strongly getting that you may feel like someone is too, like they treat the connection too loosely is what I'm getting. Like um, they're too comfortable with coming and going and they're too comfortable with, you know, flirting with you one moment and the next minute acting like friends or just shutting you out from time to time. There's like something that you feel like this person is treating the connection loosely with, okay? I need to clarify. I really need to break down that death card. For some of you, you guys try to resolve something and now your relationship is on pause. Then I open up to the Four of Cups, which is Cancer energy, and the Four of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. For some of you, you guys have maybe been going through some sort of standoffish or standoff since Cancer season, or there's like a battle of, of control here between the two of you. Okay? I'm strongly getting where. Um, you both feel like you want to give to the situation, but you both don't know how to like, you know, let your guards down and let the other person in as as much as you could. It's like you both are keeping your guard up, but in different ways. It's kind of what it feels like. Um, why the death card for how this person feels towards Capricorn? Now remember, only take what resonates, okay? Don't force the message. Why the death card? The world card and the six of cups and the king of wands. Could be a Leo. Um... Now, the world card Six of Cups, this is telling me that you are dealing with someone that feels like you guys went through some sort of um, uh, lesson together. They're feeling like there was like something that they were supposed to learn off of the situation or to teach you off of the situation. They're telling me that you guys have history together. Um, even if that history only goes back six months, this person's feeling like you are a near and dear soulmate, that they feel a lot of, um, a lot of like, there's something about your energy where they feel like they're supposed to accomplish something with you. And the world card is reaching a milestone, reaching a level of completion. It's like they feel like they passed some sort of test with you in the, in the past and they feel like it's time to just move on from that and just get back to the, the situation as is. But you're over here like, no, I don't feel like we, we resolved whatever that was. Okay? It's like this person just wants to let something go and just move forward with you, but you're unable to let something go because your intuition is telling you that there's still some unresolved issues between the two of you that are going to eventually come in as a hindrance in the long, in the long run. Whew, I'm getting anxiety. Jeez. All right, let me clarify your feelings and then I'm going to break down that three of swords. Why is Capricorn feeling the high priestess? You may feel like this person like shuts you out too much or gets very private, very secretive, or you feel like you have to do that with this person. King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, magician, Virgo, Gemini. So you're really trying to like gain control of the situation and stay grounded, keep your 10 toes, you know, firmly on the ground. You're very career focused as well. You're definitely somebody that's making a solid life for yourself. You are someone very reliable in your life and you want people to be reliable with you as well. You may feel like you're the only one that's showing up as reliable to this relationship and it's really getting you fed up where you feel like you have to deny access to this person in regards to what they know about you is kind of what that tells me, okay? Um, I mean, this person feels like you guys have a, a, a strong soulmate connection. 
they feel like there's something special about the two of you and that's what brings them back to the situation like they can't seem to get too far away from you before they're pulled back towards you and usually when we feel that type of pull towards someone it's because we have either some lessons to still be learned a cycle has not been fully completed or we're not understanding something that we're we're missing the memo we need to pay attention to what's going on like maybe they're just not getting it in regards to something that you're starting to get clarify that three of swords please the four pentacles capricorn energy the lovers gemini energy and then i see the three of swords for some of you you guys are on a break and you're not budging until this person allows you to like you know share your feelings or share your concerns or there's some sort of underlying issue that you want to get past before you'll play nice with this person they want you to play nice now and you're over here like what we haven't even got to what's been bothering me why should i just blindly say okay let's let's connect again let's go back to having fun when you feel like this Capricorn you f you feel like you've been thrown into a, a, a an emotional storm with this situation it's like you guys met and all of a sudden things in your life started to change and it's like you don't know what to do here but you guys do have a strong pull towards each other with that lover's card showing up something brought you guys together and something is possibly temporarily bringing you guys apart for you guys to learn something during the separation stage and then to see if you guys can reconnect and work through those issues but if someone's unable to look at the underlying issues and work through them with you this is going to be a constant state of on off on off on off in the relationship and that's going to be exhausting for you so i feel like there is a lot of karma playing out for you and another person in september capricorn i'm seeing a lot of karma now, don't get scared by the word karma. We all have karma. Whether it's good karma or negative karma, karma, all, all karma is really is cause and effect. It's all about action, all right? Every action comes with a consequence, whether a good one or not so good one. So that's all karma is, is really, it's just about action and cause and effect. So, you know, you just want to make sure that everything is lining up fairly for you you're all about being fair you're a very fair person capricorn and you expect the same in return and if someone's not being honest and truthful with you you're not going to be someone that can be pushed around and walked on not with you coming in as the king of pentacles and then seeing the emperor as your overall energy you're someone that is like born to be a boss regardless of your gender You've got that ability to just be a strong leader, whether you're already a leader in your professional sector, you're, you're born to be like someone not effed with, you know? I've, I've met a lot of Capricorns in my life and my best friend is a Capricorn, best friend of 18 years, and they're not pushovers, you know, but they will be nice, but to some degree, they'll start to close off and shut down. A Capricorn will spoil you and give you everything, but if you mistreat them, they will that switch will go off and you will be dead to a, a Capricorn. So I feel like you're trying to give this person a chance to clear things up with you, to to respect your boundaries, so that way you can resume this relationship because you do like them too. You care about them. Clarify this person's intentions. All of a sudden I'm getting cold. It's like all of a sudden it's like I, I feel like I'm shivering. Ooh, wait a minute. This car looks like you're sitting in the freezing rain, looking like you're shivering and no one's like coming in to offer you any warmth. It's like, am I, am I in this on my own? Is this relationship just me, myself and I, and this person just shows up? It's like you feel like you're, you're nurturing a relationship by yourself. That and I think I need to turn off my fan because it's getting cold in here. Uh, Ace of Swords. So clarifying their, their intentions, I got the Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. This person wants to talk to you. Didn't I get this for you recently? Hold on for a second. One second. Um, your, your end of August reading. No, that was, um, that was Scorpio and Sagittarius that got that. Because um, I'm getting let's talk vibes in this reading. I'm getting strong, all right, let's talk, let's talk. 
You got something to say to, Cap to me, Capricorn? All right, then I'll talk to you too. Because that's what I'm strongly getting. The let's talk factor is screaming throughout this reading where you both sit down, have a nice conversation, or if you guys are at a distance, you, you have a nice FaceTime call. All I know is this person wants to like talk to you about something in the hopes that it's going to provide a breakthrough. Three of Swords plus Ace of Swords equals the Four of Swords. That's where the possible recovery can begin. And you guys can stabilize something with these repeated fours that I'm seeing. I'm seeing repeated fours, I'm seeing repeated sixes. So let's clarify this Knight of Wands as this person's behavior towards you in September. The Knight of Wands is the Knight of Wands is someone that wants to play. You know, it's somebody that's like, hey, let's go out, let's go have some adventure, let's go out for dinner, or let's go out for a comedy show, let's go bike riding, let's go have fun. You know, it's it's someone that rarely likes to sit down and like talk, you know. Um, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta talk. It's a very sexual person too. Someone that's like, hey, let's just make love. Let's not make war. Why the Knight of Wands? The Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. I like that. I like that. That's someone that's like, all right, I, I hear you. I hear you. Let's talk. I hear you. So someone's actually paying attention to your feelings in September and all it took was you putting up some healthy boundaries and letting this person know, I'm not giving to anything you want until we, we let me you know, share my feelings. All right, that's gonna showcase a lot of healthy boundaries and to see if this person's gonna respect them or not, okay? So Capricorn, you've got someone that cares about you enough to wanna hear you out and is like, Acknowledging that it is best not to sweep something underneath the rug. So I am getting like a huge change um, that this person's going through when it comes to your feeling, their feelings. Clarify the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun and the Judgment card. Look at that. Judgment is all about second chances. It's all about forgiveness, but it's also about making some very important final decisions. The Sun is all about clarity. It's all about feeling, you know, happy again. And the Eight of Pentacles is putting in the work, improving something. If your communication with this person is terrible, it's all about improving your communication. If your love language together is just like not it, you guys are gonna improve that. All because you guys are talking, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Gemini's planet ruler is Mercury, which is all about communication. Communicating one's feelings. So you're gonna be talking to this person, it feels like. I'm gonna get your advice, and then I'm gonna pull another card on this person's feelings for you, but I'm gonna use a different set of cards. Now, Capricorn, if you're in no contact with someone right now, or the situation feels very confusing, very wonky, I will pull there what they secretly wish that they could tell you, if they could say anything at all to you, cards in a moment. Clarify justice. The King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, and I got the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this conversation may happen towards Libra season, which begins at the end of September. Not sure exactly what date, um, but yeah, towards the end of September maybe. For some of you, you're already having this conversation this week. But your advice is to definitely follow your heart. If your heart's telling you that you need karmic justice or you need to like, you know, get your feelings heard or express something that you're thinking about, do it. Do it. Don't feel like you're being a nag or being whiny or anything like that. You're, you have every right to voice your opinion. So let me get another card on this person's feelings for you. One second. All right. The Four of Swords Chariot. Yeah, for some of you, there's been a delay in communication or someone's been like beating around the bush when it comes to a topic. Please give me another card on this person's feelings for Capricorn throughout September 2024, please. Please give me their most recent feelings towards Capricorn throughout September 2024. The Fool. This person's like, can we just start over? Can we just start over? You know, temperance. Trying to find some sort of common ground to water the garden again. I do feel like you got this person nervous about what you're going to say to them with that Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords showing up in the King of Pentacles. 
You're definitely showing this person in September, Capricorn, that you are rock solid in your boundaries. You're rock solid in the relationships that you create. You're not to be messed with, okay? It's like you're like showing up for yourself in a very fantastic way this month. And that's how you build long-term relationships, Capricorn. You weed out the bad ones by testing who's gonna respect your boundaries early on. The people who challenge your boundaries are the ones that you weed out right away. The ones that are hearing you out and being like, oh, my bad, I didn't know I, I, I did that, I'm sorry. I'll work on that. Those are the ones you wanna keep, okay? You're not playing around. Anything else for Capricorn this month in regards to their love life or anything else you want me to address? The death card, something needs to change. Either letting this person go if they're not willing to change, um, they're, they're gonna have to wanna change too. You can't just say, hey, I want you to change and they're supposed to change. They're gonna, they're gonna want to need to change. All right, because that shows that they actually care about your feelings and want to change because they know it's the right thing to do and not because they're being told to do it because if not, you cut off lovin's, you know? Um, the Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like um, going into September and then towards Libra season, because we're currently in Virgo season, I feel like a lot of things are so starting to open up for you, Capricorn. You're gonna start to notice that a lot of seeds that you planted in your life, not just in love, is starting to grow for you. Like you've got opportunities growing for you. So someone like you does not have time for you know, friendships or romantic situations that just don't respect your time and energy because you've got a lot coming towards you. You've got a lot coming towards you. You may have planted some seeds during Leo season as this is Leo's energy and then something is growing but you don't see the, the growth just yet. Be patient, okay? Because that looks good. I absolutely love that for you, Capricorn. I've been getting that message for you a lot. You've got a lot of great things heading your way. So people would be loving having you in their life based off of what I'm seeing for your future. So if you're in no contact with someone, let's see how they feel. Uh, for zodiac signs that came through this reading, I got strong Pisces in this reading. Scorpio showed up, Sagittarius showed up, Gemini showed up, Cancer showed up. Um, it's I think I already said Scorpio, a lot of Scorpio. Um, Virgo and Leo and Libra, but it could be anybody. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. That's BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. Two Ds, not one for Badison. Um, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread where I do a same, rewind, I do the same spread I'm doing today, but I show my face and I, I'm able to pick up on your energy during the live stream and it helps me to target your specific situation. So if you want like an almost personal reading, show up to the Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time live streams, all right? Because that's where I'm, I'm really able to pick up the people in the chat better. I will link in the description box below this video, the most recent one I did, because it's still good for the week. The message is still good for the week. All you have to do is click on the, the link that's titled All Signs Their Feelings For You, and then click on it, and then go find the Capricorn timestamp, because it's a three and a half hour freaking video. It's very long. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. That's from a no contact group. Um, being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. So someone's not feeling good in separation from you. I mean, if they if they miss you that much, you know, you guys gotta find some sort of compromise. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. So at the end of the day, Capricorn, this person's definitely feeling like their emotions are changing or their feelings for the situation is changing. And based off what I'm seeing here, it looks like it could change for the better that you guys are you guys are completing and ending some part of your relationship that is no longer needed to be in your relationship, no longer needing to go through the same lessons, all right? Um, but some of you may just focus on your other investments because you are building a lot of success for yourself and a lot of wealth for some of you. I've been getting that a lot lately, Capricorn. You've got a lot of wealth heading towards you, okay? So I hope this helps. Remember, only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, never give your power away to tarot cards, and never, never tied and bound to an outcome in a rating, and you are in full control of your choices always. All right, I'll check back with you in a week or so for your weekly update. I love you. Take care. Namaste.